can't beat that. Oh my gosh. Welcome. Welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to do a little jewelry haul and we're going to do a little jewelry jar. I had a haul from Chicago, but I got sick about a week after I got back. So I didn't have a voice and that's why I didn't get to bring you one. So we're going to do it today. I hope you enjoy jewelry as much as I do because that's what we do here. We're going to take a real quick look at what I brought from Chicago. First things first, I got these fantastic sterling silver earrings. Oh, let's get started with my rings of the day. This is a Bars ring. It is made of brass and it is made of composite turquoise. And I've explained a few times what composite turquoise is. So let me know if you want to know in the comments and I'll do so. Uh, this is an old Navajo piece that I adore. And this is a very old piece here of turquoise as well. That is actually my sister's. And <laughs> but I think, you know, after a while you kind of, I think I have claims on it. <laughs> we both purchased souvenir rings when we visited um, Colorado. I think we climbed pike's peak or something and there was a gift shop there so years ago when we were in our teens i bought a ring she bought a ring and um, this one now fits me on my pinky i think it fit her on her ring finger at the time but i love it it's got a little split there of a little inlay of copper or brass i'm not too sure I just broke a nail these nails of mine are so thin all right so the first thing i got was these beautiful sterling silver earrings i think i got these in chicago i honestly don't remember but they were sitting right next to the rest of the stuff so i think that's where i got them they're a little hugger they're very cute they're sterling silver they're a little hugger style as you can see there and i'm not sure if those are spinel or black diamonds i haven't really tested them but you know i'm not that crazy about black diamonds this Maybe some of you are, so no shade to anybody, but black diamonds were considered just industrial garbage. So I just think they're beautiful, whether they're spinel or black diamonds. I like the sparkle and they're sterling silver. I think they're so cute. I cut my hair a little short and I think I can wear these littler earrings a little bit better now. Also found these two, I thought they were buttons when I found them. I posted a picture earlier today in the community page where I used one of them and I'm still wearing the caftan so I'm wearing it right now but they're mother of pearl and they're brooches and but what happened there's one that's working fine and that's the one I'm wearing and then this one it doesn't have the little turn dial on it went ahead and tightened the turn dial closed it up and then now in order to use this one all I have to do is pull back a little bit on the pin it's pretty sturdy so all I do is pull back on it and stick it in there and it's nice and secure yes it has the bump but it's just for me and I, like I said I do love these to pin up these dresses that I've been wearing sometimes they come in one size fits all so I like to just put a little bit like a little ruching and pin them up and then they fit perfectly these I actually got the antique store that we went to together live in my last video Come to you in that button basket or I thought it was full of buttons I got both of those for six dollars together in the bag and they're huge oversized love these anyway then I found this in Chicago I found a couple of these and I just sold one at my auction so I'm glad I bought more than one I knew they would sell quickly these are new in a box by Monet they're huge I think it's almost an inch and a half rhinestones on it and enameled and then the stars have a little bit of silver trim as well so these were a great great pickup in Chicago and then they had an elephant I picked up the elephant too what but I just found I just picked up one of those isn't that beautiful this one was also new in a box as you can see here it's got sort of a jade looking uh, stone I'm sure it's just um, faux imitation and then the rhinestone on the eye is kind of a blue sapphire color. Beautiful elephant, just gorgeous. Fully encrusted with rhinestones there, isn't he beautiful? So that was a great pickup in Chicago. I did find a lot of jewelry, but it was a little high priced. So I didn't buy all of it. This one, I can't even see if it's $2.58 or $8.52. I think it was $8.00 and so i had to limit myself I think even though i'm buying them for myself sometimes i always think i may resell it so i have to think about that these are genuine pearls so i thought it was a great deal for genuine pearls and genuine jade 
and it's just a very nice dimensional brooch. Very dimensional. Let me see if I see anything written on it. I honestly cannot read it. I cannot read it at all. And I can't even tell if it's upside down. If you can read it, let me know. Beautiful. Nonetheless, it's a beautiful piece. It's genuine jade and genuine pearl. So I loved it. And for $8.58 or 52 cents, I believe is what it, I paid for it. I could not leave that behind. It's very hefty too. It's a beautiful brooch. Back and forth between Chicago and the and the antique store. So sorry about that. This was four dollar. No, yeah, four twenty. And I haven't tested this for sterling or anything. I think it says pewter actually. Let's read it. What it says? It's a Siegel pewter. It's a 1988 Siegel pewter. And it's just a beautiful, I believe, a lily there. Is that a calla lily, if I'm not mistaken? I'm not sure. But it's gorgeous. I love it. Very hefty and beautiful. And that was only $4.20. And this would make a fabulous, as I said, button for those skirts and blouses. I also got the little hair stick. I love hair sticks. This was only $5.00. So I don't know if it's old or new or what, but I love it. It's also kind of curvy, which makes it nice. And I just think it's so cute in the heart with the rhinestones embedded in there. So I got that at the antique store. And then I got these because I am in need of fixing some button fly jeans that I have. They are a beautiful kind of cream color. And the buttons are kind of iffy, so I'm thinking of changing them to these. I think they would look so cute to have these embellished on the outside in these multicolored in the front. So I fell in love with these buttons. I think they were $6, and this one was $4. But I went ahead and got all of them for $10. I figure they're pretty unique. You're not going to find this kind of stuff at Michael's, that's for sure. Here's another fabulous brooch from Chicago. I think this was at, um, I forget the name of the store. I think it's like a Savers. I think it's the same company as Savers because their bags are from Savers. And it's a not a very heavy material, but it's an oversized heart. Isn't that gorgeous? I just thought it was so cool. It has a rivet as well. I love that. I think it's so unique. Don't know if it's vintage or what, doesn't have any mark, but I just fell in love with the oversized design. Here's another one that I haven't had a chance to check. And honestly, I have not. I've been so busy, it's been crazy. $3.99 is what I paid for this one. Another beautiful sort of Art Nouveau look about it. And this one does look a little bit like Sterling. I don't remember if I saw a telltale mark or something that made me pick it up, but it was only $4. Look how pretty. It's kind of hefty too. Yeah, I don't think I see anything marked on it. Let me double check. Do you see anything? But it just feels substantial. Could be pewter, but looks a little bit too white to be pewter. Love the design. It does look a little bit like sterling to me. I'm gonna test it. Just haven't had a chance. You well know I haven't been putting up very many videos. Was just trying to spread myself as thin as I could already. So I appreciate everyone who's here. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you've enjoyed it so far and you'd like to see more of it. Please come back with um, notifications. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I put up a new video. I bought about eight of these jars and three bags, so it's 11 all together. It says jar jewelry. Jar of jewelry. $12. Can't beat that. Oh my gosh. Just the fact that it's $12 <laughs> compared to what we used to pay. You know, I used to get them for $30. When they started going to $50, I started freaking out, but I still bought them because I kept finding good stuff because I found everything, as I've said before, from Yerman to Tiffany over and over and over again. Uh, Bulgari. Unbelievable. Tiffany constantly. 14 karat, 18 karat, diamonds, emeralds, 
you name it, it's been in the jars. I'm not saying every single jar, but you know, how can you stop? But anyway, this is a cute little jar. That's a ball. <laughs> Let's open it up. I don't, this is the same place where I found the tang jars. So we'll be going back there pretty often from now on. And honestly, when you go to the antique stores, I have seen quite a few jars. They're kind of hidden sometimes. They're not like out on the counter or anything because all of these are individual vendors. So they put them where they want to put them. And then I guess people might even move them. All right, so we're going to put pour out. And this looks like a sweetheart bracelet, but it's actually, isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, it looked like one of those sweetheart bracelets. That's what I thought it was. But it's just a nice little kind of a coil. It looks very pretty, actually. Isn't that pretty? It's in great condition. I know this was over $12, that's for sure. Can't beat that. Nice. Okay. Look at these cute earrings. Oh my gosh, these are darling. These are so 80s and so spring. I would totally wear these. I think these are so pretty. And they're not heavy. They're brass. They feel like acrylic. So they're lightweight. <laughs> I think they're darling. In fuchsia and yellow. How cool is that? I have the perfect kimono to wear with those. Okay, here's some more earrings. These need a good wash, but they're cute. I especially love the color because black shows up on my white hair. And they're all prong set. They're very 90s, don't you think? Oh, I love them. They're not heavy either. They are a very lightweight material. Very cool. So far, so good. I thought these were interesting. These are shoe clips. And they are really darling. They are mother pearl. Again, they're very dusty. This is kind of a patent leather on the inside. And then the outside is sort of a mother of pearl. Little shoe clips. Interesting. Don't really wear many pumps these days though, so I'm not sure if I could use those. Maybe I could sell them if I can't use them. Here's a vintage pink necklace it is signed probably japan beautiful colors i love the barbie pink and the little frosty lipstick pink <laughs> frosty pink lipstick pink <gasps> isn't that darling oh my gosh cute and it's nice and short let's see what the tag says oh that is so cute yeah Yes, it is Japan. Very vintage there, Japan. And it's in good condition. I like the way these are matte and these are frosted. Kind of luminescent. That's very cool. I would wear this. I really would. I think it's relevant. Absolutely. For a little brooch. It's a bronze tone to it. Oh. Is there a stone missing? No, nope, no stones missing. Kind of blackened here. And sort of a lavender color. This looks like some kind of a buckle, maybe to an outfit. Might have gone on a tie or something that is attached to the blouse or dress. And then here we have a chain that's actually signed. Looks like Coro. A little fading on it, but it is a very heavy chain. Interesting clasp on that. It looks like it says Coro. Yeah, it's the Pegasus Coro. Interesting chain. This looks like such an 80s look with this thick curved chain. It's a nice short chain too. And it's not bad. I mean, I don't see any real copper or anything coming through. It's just a very subtle gold. So it's not shiny. It may just need a cleaning though. 
always like to get that vintage stuff. If anything, just to, to know about it, you know? I really feel we, um, we gain an education when we go through these jars as well. And of course, I'm always interested in your favorite piece, so be sure and leave me a comment. Let me know what you found interesting or what you may have that is similar, or if you know anything about this particular coral piece. I think it's really cool. All right, here's some earrings. I have found these before. I think people were making these, and they wind up in a lot of jars without their hooks. These are pretty. They're pretty colors. They have sort of a malachite jasper lapis color to them. Here's another cool 80s look. Look at that sort of gumball. I like the little spire at the bottom. Isn't that cute? That little spike at the bottom. That gives it a nice look. Lightweight too, and pretty colors. Look at this. That's beautiful, the colors are so nice. It appears to be acrylic. Pearls still look nice. I don't see a clasp. I think someone upcycled it or salvaged it in some way because see how they kind of just attach I think there's like a loose yeah right here there's like an extra loop hanging maybe someone just salvaged it it's really pretty though I think this is a nice look and if you want it to probably double it I would probably put a clasp on it to even make it even more accessible. But that's darling, I think that's so pretty. I love the color, that blue sapphire. Cornflower, true cornflower color there. That needs a good cleaning and it would sparkle beautifully. The pearls are still in great condition too, faux pearls. The gold tone is still nice. That's a nice piece. Oh, look at these little moon glow earrings. These these look well made as well. And I've seen women wear these and they just look gorgeous. They really do. They do something for the face when they have the earring close to your face like that. They really do, especially if you have the hair to pull it off and show them. But that is a beautiful peach color. Luminescent quality to it. I love those. Nice color. We have some more earrings. And these are really pretty. I mean, I'm so glad all these earrings match. There's just something about them that looks like a Monet or... But I don't see a mark. What a beautiful S chain on these. These have to be 80s with that S chain. The S chains and the herring bones were so big in the 80s. And these have to be late 70s, early 80s with those beautiful S chains. Uh, many people call these S chains. You see how they have sort of an S design. And the stones, I'm not sure what they are. They look like black rhinestones. Beautiful. I really thought they would be a Monet or a Trafari. They're made so well. The S chain and the herringbone chain was very, very big in the late 70s, early 80s. These are clip plastic. Those are so cute. Yeah, they're not over the top long, so you wouldn't feel over the top with them for day but yet they're really pretty and sparkly oh i think this is the opals that float yes have you seen these opals that are floating in there i've seen those they're gorgeous so it's just this by itself i think and it's like little opal chips inside of it so you can see a little of the flash there and there it goes these here little post rhinestone nicely done gold tone setting but that's quite worn could definitely use a touch up with one of my gold pens that i use on the, these to get that going and it's got interesting little pearls and kind of crystals this needs to be washed but look even the chain has turned <laughs> The chain has turned kind of silvery. It's a very nice clasp though, isn't it? This would make a nice little upcycle. 
I think I would probably sa salvage that clasp and use it on something else, honestly. Definitely got more than $12 worth of jewelry here. I had a lot of fun opening it with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back for another one. We have quite a few jars to go through and three bags. Give it a thumbs up on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.